Hello! If you're a regular at Throttle House, you'll know that we usually start with something a bit silly. James will hit his head, I'll wear a wig, or we'll attend a support group for low-powered cars. But we wanted to mark a special occasion. We just hit 2 million subscribers on YouTube. And we thought, what better way to celebrate than to take a quick look back at how ridiculous that journey has been. That's about how I remember it. Good times. Yeah. And we thought, what car could possibly be worthy to mark 2 million subscribers? And there is one that everyone we've spoken to said was a poster on their wall growing up. Was it a poster on my wall, though? Was it a poster on your wall? No. no. <laughs> it was a model, though. Look at that. I made this. Oh, really? Because it looks so professional. This inspired you to like cars. I was seven. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And we were recently in the last naturally aspirated V12 Lamborghini together. So we thought, for 2 million subscribers, we'll go back in time and try this one. Because it's probably the coolest V12 Lamborghini. And the reason we're in the car together is because, A, you need a spotter, and B, we couldn't decide who drove first, so we compromised. Yeah, but you're driving first. Yeah, James, that's called a compromise. Anyway, we've heard for years from other people that have driven this that it's a bit of a don't meet your hero's car. Because some people say that it's a bit crap to drive. Is it? Because for decades, the Lamborghini Countach was the pinnacle of Lamborghini's lineup making it a contender to be, if nothing else, the most outrageous supercar in the world. From its tubular frame to its 5.2 liter V12, to a name which literally means holy shit, it is the acid trip version of a supercar turned real. And thanks to the owner, Toronto Carnut, today we get to drive it. is the 25th anniversary and it has a 5.2 liter v12 how many horsepower 450 400 i gotta go down to first again okay. i normally would say that doesn't sound like much but actually for 1989 that sounds like quite a lot well you know what it's really quick actually i can't tell if it's that quick or if it's just really scary it's just a lot a lot going on a lot going it's got on 369 pound feet of torque which isn't that much thankfully no but it's, that's a lot of displacement so it's still talky enough oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. this car is so intimidating <laughs> oh, my head keeps hitting the side oh, yeah, everything keeps hitting everything 
Oh, it's warm. It's really warm. Does it have air con? The air conditioning is. You're turning the fan up though. And, oh my God, Jay. Oh no, you broke the Lamborghini. Oh no. What are you doing? Put the put it back in. Oh, uh, okay. These were built really, really well. There, there we go. It's in. Okay. It's in. <laughs> it's in. This is a, a very torquey motor. Yeah. And it is probably the most mechanical sounding engine. I think I've never been in. Oh, so you're shifting into third there. I'm shifting into third because this is a dog leg. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a reverse locket, which is this hilarious little a bent, physical bent piece of steel <laughs> to stop you from going into the gate. But I've always heard, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny, I've always heard other people that have driven these cars say the shifting effort is very high. It's very high. And I've always been like, okay, is it high or are you just a bit of a wimp? Turns out I'm a bit of a wimp because it is like, like I know people that couldn't do that. You so might be one of them. This is a good, thanks for that. <laughs> this is a good lever though. You got a lot of like. There's a lot of torque. A lot of surface it. area. <laughs> yeah, it's good. The experience of driving this car in a straight line is, I would go in this way. Noise. Yeah. Terror. Speed. And then the realization that the brakes aren't very good. Right. Probably <laughs> that's your. Well, we got these big tires. If you, if you go, if you downshift and put your foot down. Da okay, here we go. Ready? Does it feel. Oh my god. Uh, uh, oh! It's so angry. Oh my God, this is the most physical car. Like I've driven cars in the corners that are physical, but in a straight line, I, you, you just, you're, I'm just fatigued. Like compared to like the Aventador Ultimate, where it, it was <laughs> like, it, it was, it screamed as it well. It screamed, this, this doesn't scream, it shouts. It shouts, yeah, it shouts. yeah. It's <laughs> That's a pretty good impression. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. James it's, can do V12s from like, the 80s. It's, it's like a dad rage. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A, yeah, it's that one time that it, you've it, finally it, done something wrong enough to it, piss your dad it, off. It's the sound you make when you're lifting a really heavy table. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and trying to flip it. <laughs> There's definitely well, the other sounds. Aren't very good. There's definitely other sounds yeah. going on. I'm going to come in. Ready? Right to 7,000 RPM. from smiling. My sunscreen is melting into my eyes. I can't see. That would probably not make the visibility any worse for me, though, to be perfectly honest. We just went to a gas station in this. <laughs> yeah. The attention that it gets. Absurd. Like, just looking at it, being in it, the whole experience is so new. It feels new to me. Yes, it is. It's, it's, like, it's like that next level of attention on yeah. the highway, right? But thumbs up, good attention. Yeah, oh, everyone loves it. Even people that don't know what it is. Yeah. Absolutely love it, because they're like, what the hell is this thing? It doesn't look like, it looks like a spaceship. That's how they designed it intentionally. It's just such a neat thing. And even though it feels ancient to us, when it came out, it was, it was very forward thinking. Actually, I'm going to pull up. I want to show you something. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. All right. Okay. How do I open the engine bay? So you got these two levers here. Yeah, I know. How do I open the engine bay? Yeah, one of them is the engine. It's not labeled. I noticed. You have to use your Italian Lamborghini intuition. It's intuizione. <laughs> Intuizione. Fact. I'm gonna guess this one. Hey, oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah, the other one's the trunk. Uh, whoa. Big engine. It is a seriously big Fitting. engine. Okay, so cool thing. Most mid-engine cars have the engine here and then the transmission kind of right behind it or around it or beside it. Right. Because the, the wheels are back here that you're driving, so okay. it's easy to put drive shafts to them. Kind of like the Miro was. It was a transverse mounted engine and the tr transmission was on the side of it. Problem with that was that the car was killing people because all of the weight was back here. And that just killed them? 
Well, no, they didn't just they, they didn't <laughs> spontaneously kill them. Oh, it's, it's, they spun off the okay, highway. Okay, spin. So what they did with this was they turned the whole thing around and put the transmission at the front. That's uh, what that gigantic tunnel is in the center. Weird thing about this, though, is that the wheels being driven are back here and the power's coming out over there. So they're like, okay, well, that improved the weight distribution, but we still need to drive the wheels. So let's put a drive shaft all the way through the oil sump all the way to the back of the car. So basically the power does this. And then heads back. Right? Yeah. Cool. Kind of weird, kind of funky, but the cool part about that is that it gave way to the all-wheel drive systems in later Lambos. Uh. And all the way up to the Aventador still uses this layout. All right, but there wasn't all-wheel drive for this. So what, no. So what's the advantage? Handling. That feels pretty quick. Yeah, uh, it's quick. <laughs> Scarier from here. Yeah. My 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 head is over here. My butt is in the middle, and my legs are over there. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So this should be a handling monster. Yeah. Okay. Going in, pitching it in. Oh. Yeah, okay. Was that understeer? Where's the handling, Thomas? Uh, I don't know. It Where's was, the handling? I mean, they sold it to me 50 years ago. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> that was just quite a lot of understeer. The, the steering is so heavy. The steering is so heavy. Easy, easy. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so scary. It's flat though. It stays oh, very it stays flat. Very flat. The corners, yep. Yeah. Oh. Nice low center of gravity. <laughs> yes, the center of gravity is very low, but that's. Not because of engineering, it's just because the car is only three feet off the ground. <laughs> You're right, you really have to Really shift. gotta shift. Yeah. yeah. It's the most physical car I've ever driven. God, it's hot in here. Ah. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's Gloria. I That's know, Gloria. I know. I was here, <laughs> I, was, I was there for it. Well, what you gotta do is you gotta pretend that the seven, eight hundred thousand dollars that this is worth yeah. isn't real. Isn't a real yeah. number. It's not hard to get used to the gearbox, though. You just, it's like a time zone difference. You're just like, oh, it's one over. Yeah, one over yeah. and extra effort. Oh, man, that is just, yeah, so you pushed it into that corner. Listen, credit where credit's due. Yeah. James is either very brave or very stupid because <laughs> <laughs> we went into that corner real quick. I know it didn't look like it from the shots or whatever, but yep. Yeah. All right, I want to turn around here yeah. and do more turns. OK. Because otherwise, I'm just on a straight I, I mean, I'm OK with straights. No. Or like low speed city driving. No. It's okay. 2022. Straight is not the only way now. <laughs> oh, my god. Physical. Physical it is the word. It is very physical. It's actually physical for me, too, over here. I don't know how or why. <laughs> The car, because you're using so much core strength to stay, stay comfortable. To stay comfortable, or to keep my head from crunching oh. into the aluminum ceiling. It's warm. It's getting warm. It's getting real warm, <laughs> and the air conditioning is, yeah, it's on. Okay. I get it now. Yeah. I, I, I get it now. But, like, driving this now... Yeah. It... This isn't a car I want to explore the limits of. I don't feel like I want to go on a canyon run and be like, how quick can I take that turn? Yeah, no. Like, this is safe. This is flat Ontario here. Yeah. Now that the weather's finally good. Yeah. But I think, like, it's like the Ford GT. You want a big racetrack. You don't want... Yeah, this is big racetrack car. Big racetrack, big, big, big balls. Big balls. <laughs> but that second gear... It's all encompassing. It's exactly what I imagined an 80s Lamborghini to be like. I've just went, okay, I think I think I have PTSD from spinning in a Ford GT. Oh shit, oh shit. Don't I say think that. I Don't. think I have. These tires are much newer. These tires are much newer. It's dry. It's not wet, yeah. That's about it. Everything Where else is, is about as unsafe. Oh. This is also 15 years older than that Ford GT. You know what? You look like you're having a bit of fun. Oh, it's fun. Yeah. Oh. But I'm going to go home and remember what I just did. Yes. And I'm going to be like staring at the ceiling going, was I really ripping it Was that actually a good yeah. test that we were just Is money around? real? <laughs> you have to go video game mode with this. You uh, have to. Yeah, you turn your brain off and drive. You have to right? suspend consequence. Yeah. You know what I'd, I'd like to note is that other than the incessant amount of rattles and noises this car makes, 
Um, the ride is very good. The ride's not bad. The ride yeah. is very good, yeah. Oh, man, you're pushing this car. <laughs> How often do you get to do this? I don't know. I, keep, I want to downshift to first. That is, a, that is a first yeah. downshift, I think, because we're at 2,000 RPM right no, now. Oh, no. there goes the rear It's got bit. torque. It's got torque. I think you know, oh, there, there is so much experience in here from the driver's seat, from the passenger seat. But the, I think one of the standout things of the Countach, and we said at the gas station, we got crazy attention. Most, at least half the experience, at least half the taste is in the smell. At least half the experience. You mean the gasoline? No, at least half the experience. Actually, there's no smells going on in there. There is on the outside. Okay. <laughs> for, those, for those four exhaust pipes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, most of the experience of this car is for everyone else on the road because it's the way it looks. This is one of the most violent? No, because if I car G-Force, it's not the right word, what is it? Physical. It's the most physical, intense driving experience I've ever had. Yeah. And like, I've driven race cars before, but this has got this like cramped, hot danger to it. Yes. That I don't think you can get anywhere else other than supercars from the 80s. Well, we, we've been getting in cars that every year boast how much they reduce the, the noise and vibration of harshness. And this is like... This is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the beginning of that. It is, uh, it is quite an intense machine. And just like every other crazy supercar in the 80s, there's compromises to be made. So why don't you show everyone how we back it in? OK. You're doing it. You're doing it, Peter. I'm thinking happy thoughts. You're thinking happy thoughts. Me too. Look at this thing. Using the the the, the go-to method. Keep going. Keep, Keep going. going. Keep going. All right, and you're good. Right there. All right. It smells like gasoline. I'm gonna reverse all cars like that from now on. From now on. Yeah. Oh. Have to see you do that in a minivan. Um. So. <clears throat> is uh crazy crazy craziest car we've yeah, ever done like, in the house? Do you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, no, not the craziest car, somehow. Really? Yeah, I remember being back here with a broken Isetta at one point. Oh, yes, same, same looking. <laughs> but uh, definitely one of the most interesting looking cars. Like, if you think, like, a, a Golf with a V8 swap is a sleeper. Yeah. This is a waker. Like, like except, no, it's not actually, because it's got a V12, so it's not actually hiding a small engine. That, would, that would be the complete opposite of a sleeper. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so it's not beautiful. No, controversial, because yeah. it's an icon. Obviously. Okay, wait, to be fair, the original Countach, like the earliest design of it was beautiful because it was just like a, a simple wedge. This is, yeah, this is busy. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Right, we've got Pagani's touch, so he's done all the vents and crazy stuff. We've got this ridiculous wing that looks lifted off a plane. Yeah, and it does look lifted off a plane and it actually causes lift, I think, when you say, you say that. And like- I thought uh, it isn't supposed to cause downforce? Yes. The car was mostly okay without <laughs> this. And this just only caused issues. Yeah. Um, I don't know the, the exact perfect story of this, but I believe that a Canadian with the last name Wolf was a, owned, owned an F1 team. Okay. Was responsible for adding the swing on. And what he actually did was he owned Countach's and he loved them. And he worked directly with the engineers to help tweak them and stuff because he wanted them to be better. Okay. I know an interesting little so bit of- So there's some Canadian there's spice some Canadian, going on there. here. Okay, uh, this is us. This is us right here, I think. I can't claim that yet. I'm still only a permanent resident. <laughs> um, but yeah, from some angles, it looks like a kit of itself. Like, I find, especially from this front angle... Yes, there's this one. <laughs> that looks weird. It does. But the profile looks amazing. It, it, it looks weird because curves are hard. Yes. Right? These, they're like, it's easier if we just can bring it to a right angle. It looks sad. With, I want, does it look happier with the pop-up headlights? Maybe. Or does it look dated? Yeah. Okay, so I gotta turn the ignition on. Oh, look at this. So we're gonna get that like World War II radio sound. Yeah, that's quite a fan. Hey! Hey, oh. uh, we'll leave them up. I thought they'd stay up when I took the key oh. <laughs> no, How did it look though? In that brief second that you had to enjoy them. It's nervous. It's, it's nervous. nervous. Wheels are amazing and they're OZ racing, which is really cool. Yeah, well these are 15 inch wheels with yep. three 45 millimeter width tires. <laughs> so back here, right? Yeah. And they're so, like a special Pirelli that look like an old tire, they're right? Very but they're wide. a newer tire. Good grip. Thankfully. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, 
a lot, a lot's going on with this car. A lot's going on with the design. We've got these windows here. Only this one opens and it goes halfway. Question, and you don't know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask you anyway. I do. Is this Six. lower? Is this low? <laughs> is this lower than a Ford GT? All right. Say two. Say two. Yes or no, and then we'll just keep the one, the right one. Ready? Go. All right. Yes, you know it is. Sorry. Yeah. And then. Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Should we look at the interior? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay. okay, so we're no longer outside. No. Yeah, the movie magic. We had to move the car in here because the windscreen is so raked. And giant and flat. That <laughs> because the clouds were reflecting, we couldn't see through the windscreen. <laughs> so, uh, here we are inside of a Lamborghini Countach. Yeah, not much headroom going on here. No, this car yeah. is not about headroom. Slouch. Yeah, you're going to slouch a little bit. Uh, also, it's not about bum room. No, no. They, these are like the narrowest seats that I think I've been in in a car. Yeah, like the Chevy Bolt might be narrower, but they don't punish you. They, yeah, you, there's you, not two you, bars on either you side. You fall off of it. This is like... Yeah, like I, uh, maybe the cushioning is a little bit worn down, but it's not like this car has done very many miles, right? No, 17,000 kilometers. 17,000 kilometers. Yeah, like it's just not comfortable at all. No. I mean, that's indicative of the whole car, though. <laughs> but where the, where the transmission tunnel is, yeah, this right. is quite a it's quite nice. ergonomic Yeah, thing. ergonomic. Yeah. yeah but funny. I mean, look at the design in here. The, using the word ergonomic inside of a good dash just seems so wrong. Yeah. As the Italians say, ergonomica. That is the word they have. Ergonomica. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you having fun? I'm going to make a fake translation dictionary for <laughs> if you want to mess up as a tourist. <laughs> Ergonomica. Okay, so everything is stitched in leather, which is really cool. Like everything, like all the way down here to these controls. Yeah, which, this is this is quite comfort focused, especially because this is a later one. So we've got electrically adjustable seats. Wow, crazy. Yeah, next to our little compartment here. Yeah, you, you have a phone. I do have a phone. Yeah, cellular. Yeah. How do I release? Uh, maybe it's like a vo vocal command. Quick, the business business is happening, and you're oh. missing out on it. <laughs> How do you, what? I just lost a million dollar yeah, deal. Yeah, you lost a million dollar deal. Man, you don't know how to broker mergers. You can't sell stocks. I used to be in murders and executions. Murders and, acqui <laughs> murders and executions. Yeah. Um, okay, so driving position. <laughs> I, can't, I literally can't get this out. <laughs> Maybe you're not supposed to. I don't know. Maybe you have a little headset or something. Hello? <laughs> b b b business? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so driving position, other than the pedals being in the middle of the car, and not in front of me, yeah. is actually not that bad. Like the steering wheel comes like far enough. Like I could, no, I can't heel toe, I lied. I'm surprised, like if you think, I'm surprised how simple the steering wheel is. But there's no horn here because no. the horn button is right here and it makes, ready? Okay, car's gotta be on my head. <laughs> that is like a small train. It's a tiny, tiny train, yeah. In a model village. It is really, really, really cool in here. And I, I, I am curious. I was talking about right angles outside. The right angles are continued on in here. And is this because they couldn't make a circular panel? I don't think couldn't was in their dictionary. They <laughs> no, did what they wanted to do. Yes, which was a box glued yeah. to the dashboard trimmed in leather. <laughs> Gauges look amazing, though. They really look amazing. I oh, love the, it. the glove compartment is a fuse box for the car. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, not a glove compartment then. Well, small gloves. We have an ashtray. We do have an ashtray. Yeah, there we go. This is really cool. I've I've only ever seen pictures of this car, and I've always wanted to drive one. The the inside feels appropriate. It, it every it's it, every part of this car fits what the car is and how it feels and how it drives in the era. Nothing feels out of place. Is that maybe the ingredients needed for an icon though? Maybe it needs to be like that. Maybe. Yeah. Icon, supercar, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist, the Kuntash doesn't really care what you call it. It doesn't have to. It dominated bedroom walls for decades, and it will continue to dominate attention on the road for decades to come. It might not be the weapon that a modern supercar is, but unlike some of the others, we'll never forget the day we drove a Kuntash. Everything before that was BC, before Kuntash. Actually, now that I think about it, once we drive a Diablo, we're going to be after Diablo, so AD. 
How I've made it this far with you, James, I have no idea. And something tells me I'm stuck with you for the next million. Anyway, cheers everyone. Thanks for watching.